And good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to New Hampshire Motor Speedway, home of the Extra Mile. We're getting ready today here for the running of the Camping World RV Sales 301, our first chase race here in Season 6 of the Snickers Cup Series. We end up having some really exciting events take place here in the last two days. The Truck Series event, really exciting. Danny Wells utilizing pitch strategy to stretch it all the way from lap number two to the checkered flag on one tank of fuel. He ended up taking the win. Then it was yesterday, Richard Johnson picked up his second win of the season with an amazing pass on Austin the Plant at the right moment, and he ended up picking up win number two over in that series. We have gone two for two with non-chasers taking the wins here at New Hampshire. We'll see if today will be the same. Coming to today's race, 13 drivers are ready to begin their journey here for 10 races to try and become the Season 6 Snickers Cup Series champion. This will be their first test, and we'll see how they do here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. As on the pole position is going to be a driver who just barely missed out on making the chase last week at Arizona. That is number 16 out of Rush Fenway, Alan Tanker, a rookie this season in that Ford. Alongside of him, the guy who comes in a three-way tie for the current chase points lead. That is Danny Wells in the 31. He comes in in a tie with Silver Fox and Dally. They all have two wins apiece. Joshua Michaels, he'll line up his number 10 on the inside line of row number 2 for Everham Motorsports. And alongside of him, Trent Dunham, who ended up having some pretty bad luck both in trucks and mobile, two series in which he's in the chase. He's not in the chase here in this series. We'll see how he does in the light blue number 1 Chevrolet. And then completing the top 5 is going to be the Tweenix Chevrolet, sponsored by Briar's Ice Cream. That is Mary Cole in the number 4. Trying to look here, see if we can find any other chasers starting up near the front besides the 31 of Danny Wells. And you've got to go quite a ways back to 10th position before you find Anthony McCreary in the 61. No wins this season. He was up there battling with Charles Jackson for the points lead for majority of this season, especially after uh, the summer races at Daytona and everything. Now Anthony McCreary with no wins is down in the 12th position in points. He really needs a win. It could come here today, and I'm trying to look. I can't even find any other chasers here up near the front of the field. I think I may see Sean Henley back there somewhere around position number, that'd be 13th place, but he looks like the only one I can actually see of any chasers. Maybe Jake Cole starting beside him in 14th place too, but I'm not really certain. But the 13 drivers that come in today battling for the chase are Danny Wells, James Silverfox, Cole Dattley, Charles Jackson, William Duncan, Sean Galligan, John Radigan, Madison Sieber, Drew Austin, Jake Cole, Sean Henley, Anthony McCurry, and Tim Walsh. Only one of them is a former Snickers Cup Series champ, and that is Sean Henley, who took the championship back in Season 4. Anyway, it's time to get these cars rolling off. They're going to complete a couple of pace laps, and while they do that, we will show you the starting lineup for today's Camping World RV Sales 301. It's going to be a wild 30-lap event here, and I think we can safely say that we have seen the trouble spot that these drivers are going to have to avoid here today. That is the exit off of turn number four. Some drivers starting at the front, some drivers starting at the back. How's that going to play off for them as far as their first race to chase? We're going to find out, as here is your starting lineup for today's race at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Well, I think you can safely say, especially with what we saw in the Mobile Cup Series event, track position is everything today. So you may see drivers rolling the dice here to try and keep themselves up near the front of the field just in case the carnage that broke out in the Mobile Cup Series race is going to shift itself over here and break out in the Snickers Cup Series event. Because as I said, 
You want to start off the chase well or else you find yourself scrambling to catch up with everybody for the first half of the chase. Here we go though. Green flag is out. Alan Tanker on pole. I believe this is his first pole of the season. And he'll lead him into turn number one side by side with the Caterpillar Chevrolet of Danny Wells. Joshua Michaels starting to close in right on the back bumper. He may be thinking about going for the lead here as he's going to try and go to the inside line heading into three. Tanker will try and throw the block. But Michaels gets a good enough run, and here comes Joshua Michaels to the inside. They're three wide behind him. Trent Dunham, Danny Wells, and Mary Cole. Let's hope they can keep it together. Ooh, they're awfully tight. Mary Cole almost bouncing off of Trent Dunham. Rohe Vidarvu right behind this battle, and somehow, someway, they're th getting through it. Under green. Oh, but they're sliding off this corner. Oh, no, no, no. Danny Wells going to turn Trent Dunham, and there they go to the wall. That's a chaser right there. Danny Wells turning Trent Dunham. And everybody's piling in again. It's shades of yesterday. Emilio Navitz behind this. Charles Jackson, LaPlante, Chambers, Washer, Poteet. Tim Walsh just got by it. Cody Lamas was behind it. Drew Austin was behind it. And is everybody going to be okay coming off this corner? Duncan makes some contact there with PJ Williams. That was close. I saw Madison Sieber with damage in the 33. That's a chase contender. We'll jump to her in a second. Trent Dunham's coming to pit road. But Madison Sieber making the chase here. She's got some damage there. There it is. You can see the damage on the hood of the Honey Nut Cheerio Chevrolet. She must have been right behind that wreck. And it looks like everybody else up ahead here. Oh, wait a minute. There is some damage to the Michael Norman machine. He's got a buckle on the hood of his GM Goodwrench Chevrolet. Galligan's coming to pit road though, so is Rohe Vidarvu, Dylan Young, Aaron Williams Jr. Chaser Sean Henley and Anthony McCurry decide to stay out. Michael's coming to pit road along with Alan Tanker. And Mary Cole is going to take the lead with her Twinix Racing teammate right behind her. McCurry staying out as well. Citadino, Noah Hart, Nick Barney, Jake Cole, Nova, PJ Williams, Dougie Shears, Silver Fox, Chambers, Richard Johnson, and Cody Lamas will all stay out under this caution flag. And I think uh, the drivers have already completed their pit stops. Yes, they have. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Joshua Michaels came out first, though. Looks like he did. Looks like it could have been a good battle there between Vader, Aaron Williams Jr., and Alan Tanker coming off pit road there for second. But caution flags out. Let's look back at a replay of what happened. A big pileup has struck here already at New Hampshire, and few chasers were involved in this one right here you can just see they were almost four wide with Vedarvu, Mary Cole, Trent Dunham and uh, Danny Wells and Danny's gonna hook Trent right there in the right rear up into the wall they go Nick Barney gets a piece of it there is Michael Norman getting involved so the three was involved and here comes some other chasers caught up behind this there's Jake Cole oh man someone ran into the back of the Chris washing machine I think that might have been Chambers Chambers then gets hit by Henry Nova. There's Navrit back there getting involved. And look at the Miracle Whip Toyota. The mayonnaise white number 20 of Charles Jackson right behind this. Somehow he was able to slow up in time. There's Madison Sieber getting damaged. She may have actually been the one who ran into the back of, uh, I believe it would have been Chambers. I'm not certain. Why don't we go on board with the 33? Try and find out just exactly where she sustained her damage from. Is This is the look of the carnage that was involved. Chris Washer got some damage out of that too there in the 7. After Danny Wells and Trent Dunham get together and a couple drivers pile in, we're going to go on board now with Danny Wells' Richard Childress Racing teammate Madison Sieber. See what she saw. On board with Madison Sieber running behind Henry Nova here. And yeah, she runs into the back of Nova who got held up behind that whole traffic jam there on the back straightaway. And that's how she got the damage to the front of her machine. So... Quite a few chasers sustained some damage here as a result of this first caution. Let's jump back to green. Getting ready to go back to green flag race on lap 7 of 30. Mary Cole out in front. She was one of those drivers who decided to stay out under our caution flag. Sean Henley will line up in second. Third place will be Anthony McCurry with John Cittadino in fourth. You see Trent Dunham going to continue on a lap down on the inside line. Noah Hart completes the top five. Then it's going to be Nick Barney in sixth. 7th place will be Jake Cole, 8th Henry Nova, 9th PJ Williams, and 10th will be Dougie Shears. James Silverfox is now up to 11th. Adam Chambers runs 12th. 
13th place is Richard Johnson and Cody Lamas is 14th. The 14 drivers that we just went through did not come down pit road. The rest of the drivers did and this is the way they come off pit road. Joshua Michaels, he'll restart in the 15th position. 16th will be Alan Tanker. Rohit Vidaru lines up 17th. Aaron Williams Jr. 18th. 19th Dylan Young and 20th is Sean Gallagher. Let's find the rest of our chasers. There's John Radigan in 21st place. Got to go a ways back before we find Cole Daly in 28th. Drew Austin back in 30th. William Duncan in 32nd. Charles Jackson all the way back in 36th with Tim Walsh in 37th. And there's Danny Wells in 40th with Madison Sieber in 41st as the green flags back out. The only car a lap down off the lead lap is Trent Dunham. He's in 42nd. So everybody that was took the green flag to start this race is still in this event. No drivers have gone behind the wall yet. We'll go to a different camera view here and watch Trent, uh, not Trent Dunham, I'm sorry, Sean Henley try and run down his Twinks Racing teammate, Mary Cole, for the lead. Off a turn four they come. Henley closing the gap up on the Briar Chevrolet. And we are still green flag racing, amazingly enough. Henley going to try and run a slightly higher group through that corner. Mary Cole holding her line. Everything basically single file back there. And then you find, I think that was, uh, it was an orange car. It was Nova going by the Trent Dunham machine. Dunham trying to get out of the way of all these other lead lap cars. And oh, the caution flag is out again. Caution's waving. And oh my goodness, Richard Johnson just hit James Silverfox from behind. He went up into Dougie Shears, and it's a wonder more drivers were involved, but Aaron Williams Jr. gets turned around by Dunham. Carson Gum runs into the back of him, and there's another wreck that's going to happen. Charles Jackson's involved, and there's a wreck and further up. Dylan Pochi just got spun around. So did Chambers. So did Emilio Navarrete. McLeod's into the wall, courtesy of Chris Washer, and all chaos is happening now. Just about everything is breaking loose now. Oh, my goodness gracious. There is a chase contender, James Silverfox. We saw him basically get shoved up into the wall, courtesy of the 11 of Richard Johnson. And the leader is still going to be Mary Cole. There's Chris Washer. There's two Tweenix cars, Dylan Poteet and James McLeod. Poteet just nearly ran to his own teammate. That was close. There's Trent Dunham. More damage on his machine. Aaron Williams Jr. there in the 24. Carson Gum heavily damaged, and so too is Charles Jackson. Charles with his win last week at Arizona in a tie for fourth coming into today's race. And looks like Madison Sievers coming down pit road as well. Deanna Shelton making a pit stop. Let's jump to our pit road camera here real quickly. Well, actually, let's wait till Charles Jackson pulls into pit road. We want to see if he's going to be able to continue. Looks like he will stay, at, stay uh, on the race track and in this race. And I saw Mary Cole not come out first. Sean Henley lost a ton of spots too. I'm not certain, but I think Sosnowski may have come out as the leader. No, it wasn't Sosnowski. It was a green car. Well, maybe it wasn't. No, it was the yellow car. John Cittadino. He was first off pit road. Then Jake Cole, Richard Johnson, Nova, and Joshua Michaels. But a number of drivers decided to stay out this time. A lot of them, cars that were involved in that wreck. And it looks like it's going to be the pole sitter, Alan Tanker. Going back to the lead with Vedar, who's second. Galligan, third. Cole Daly in fourth. And... Fifth place is going to be Kyle Matthews in the 12. Let's head back now to a replay of what happened. Don't even really know what the caution initially came out for. Well, this was actually the reason the caution came out. Battled back here around somewhere around the high 30s, I guess. Michael Norman stuck in the middle. He's going to make contact with Kevin White and James McLeod. Up into the fence they all go. Hayden Klein's going to get held up behind these guys. And I think he just barely got through there. Almost ran to the back of the good wrench Chevrolet, and ooh, Danny Wells cutting it close there too. That was mighty, mighty close, but everybody's going to get through here pretty well unscathed. We jump up here now to find Trent Dunham. There he is. Okay, we got to rewind this a minute here because I think the 11 bumped the... No, the 11 never made any contact. I thought Richard Johnson shoved the 19 of Silver Fox. It was Dunham getting into Silver Fox's right rear. And then Dougie Shears absolutely nowhere to go. He gets collected in it as well there in the 17. And then it's everybody's trying to settle it out and try and get by. They did a pretty good job. And then you watch the 24 of Aaron Williams Jr. come into view. There's Galligan. And Galligan, I don't even think, made any contact with Aaron Williams Jr. Williams just didn't really give very much room to Dunham. Kind of squeeze him into the wall. And when there's wall there, Dunham can't go any further to the right. And Carson Gum, tough break for him. He runs straight into the back of the DuPont Chevrolet. So Carson Gum 
His numbers here this past week at New Hampshire not been too good. Was running up front inside the top five when he was involved in an incident uh, in the Mobile Cup Series event and now involved in something here. And there's Poteet getting spun around. Let's see what happens to him. Oh, Chambers is going to go down to the bottom to avoid. Poteet carries a lot more momentum and just runs into the back of the 29. And then, whoa, Tim Walsh. Whoa, Walsh is going to get through after Navrick gets clipped by uh, Chambers. And then we got to find Charles Jackson. There he is. Who's he hit? Does he run in the back of Trent? Or does he run in the back of Carson Gum? Oh, he's going to run into the 56. Right here. Yep. Not a hard hit, but you can see it was enough to cause some cosmetic damage on the front of his Miracle Whip Toyota. And everybody else trying to go underneath and avoid. And I think they... For the most part, do a good job. Wait a minute. McLeod. Oh, man. Oh, Poti got slammed into. What in the world? I thought this was all over, but apparently not. Poti, after he got spun around, after running to the back of Chambers, he's trying to get his car going again. Chris Washer going to run into him. Danny Wells gets a piece of it. And James McLeod. So Poti takes a pretty hard lick right there in the 78, and there's Chris Washer. His day, I think, is over as he flat out drilled the 78 Dollar General Chevy. Man, hard licks taken here in New Hampshire. And this is a, I guess it's like slightly considered a short track because it's not a really big race track. The drivers don't get up to real high speeds, but they're taking some awfully, awfully hard licks for not being at full speed. Let's head back now to Green Flag Racing. We had all 42 cars running after our first caution. I don't think that'll be the case after this, our second caution flag of the day. Getting ready to go back to green flag racing. Let's give you your running order here. Some drivers came down pit road, some didn't. We'll update you on the cutoff line of the drivers came down pit road under this, our last caution. Alan Tanker's the leader, Rohit was second, Sean Galligan third, Cole Daly in fourth, fifth place Kyle Matthews, Drew Austin now up to sixth, seventh William Duncan. Kyle Sosnowski is 8th, ninth going to be Emilio Navarra, and 10th place is Tim Walsh. Aaron Williams Jr. runs in 11th, 12th is Hayden Klein, 13th Austin the Plant, 14th place will be Ralph Mason, 15th place, that's Danny Wells, and 16th is Michael Norman. Those drivers did not come to pit road, the rest of these drivers did. We're going to go through them now, find our chasers. Jake Cole going to restart in 19th place. There's Anthony McCurry back in 25th, Sean Henley in 27th, John Radigan 28th. Masson Seaver is 33rd, Charles Jackson in 34th, and James Silverfox in 35th. Trent Dunham is now 36th, one lap down. Drivers that he's ahead of that have retired are Adam Chambers, Carson Gum, Chris Washer, Dylan Poteet, James McLeod, and Kevin White. So all of our chasers are still on the racetrack and still in the lead lap as the green flag comes back out here on lap 13 of 30. We had a little bit of a green flag run here, and we got to jump back here. Cole Daly, Sean Galligan, a couple of chasers. Drew Austin, William Duncan there as well, trying to work their way around the slower machine of Trent Dunham, and Trent seems to be holding up the 44 of Galligan. Galligan going to lose a spot now to Drew Austin. He's about to lose a spot to William Duncan. Now he's going to go try to go three wide underneath Trent Dunham, tries to squeeze it in there. Oh, Dunham gets the wall, and somehow they all got through. Man, that was close. Dunham starting to slip back. Now he's starting to hold up Tim Walsh as here comes the Emilio Navarrete machine up through the inside. He's now up to the ninth position is Emilio. Good battle here between some chasers. This is, I believe, for sixth place. Nope, I'm sorry, it's for seventh. William Duncan to the inside of Sean Galligan. Galligan comes into this race sixth in the point standings. William Duncan comes in fifth. Both of them with one win this season. I think the caution could be out. Is the caution out? I thought I saw the flagman on pit road. Yes, indeed, the caution flag is out. As up front, it still is the Allen Tanker machine, and I think Cody Lamas may have something to do with this caution coming out. Tanker going to come off of four. He'll lead us under the yellow. Oh, there's a spin that took place in the front straightaway, and I think the 55 was involved in whatever this was. Hayden Klein on pit row. That may have actually been a scheduled stop, but I think he's going to fall off the lead lap. We're past the halfway point now. Tanker, the pole sitter, still is out in front. Let's jump back and see what happened to the Aaron's Dream Machine of Cody Lamas. Now watch the left side of your screen. That's where the contact's going to begin between Joshua Michaels and P.J. Williams. Into the fence they go. They're going to spin right in front of Cody Lamas. Cody had absolutely no opportunity to woe up in time. 
Look at Anthony McCurry. Nice move there. John Radigan able to go through the middle as well. Charles Jackson going to thread the needle. Madison Sieber does the same. Henley going to wait on the high side. I think he got a little damage, though. Dylan Young gets hit by Nick Barney. And then watch the hit right here from Silver Fox into Cody Lamas. Hard, hard lick there. And Silver Fox, a two-time winner this season, came in second in points. Actually tied for the points lead. This is not what he needed. And, and I was wondering if Henley ran into the back of P.J. Williams. Apparently he did. He's got some damage to the front of his machine, so a couple more chasers involved in this one, including Silver Fox and Henley. Slowly but surely, all these chasers are finding problems here with New Hampshire, and I wasn't really expecting this. I was not expecting the drivers to really be having to struggle with this particular racetrack, but it appears that is the case here today in this entire race weekend. Getting ready to go back to green flag racing pretty soon here. I think we'll be going green next time around. And we have a chaser out in front finally today. We've had Alan Tanker out in front. We've had uh, Mary Cole out in front. Non-chasers. Now we got a chaser leading this race. It's the Dodge of Drew Austin, who hasn't been to victory lane since Las Vegas earlier on this season. That was race number three, folks. Now we're on race number 27 now. Drew Austin trying to look for his second win of the season. One of two rookies. No, yeah. Only one of two rookies that's battling for the Snickers Cup Series Championship. And he's got another championship contender right behind him. That is William Duncan in the six. Kyle Sosnowski, he'll line up in the third position. Fourth place is going to be Aaron Williams Jr. I'm not sure why Hay oh, Hayden Klein will go to the inside line one lap down once we get the signal of one to go. It should be this time around. Fifth place will be John Cittadino. Mary Cole is in sixth. Seventh is Tim Walsh. 8th place will be Jake Cole, ninth will be Richard Johnson, and 10th Anthony McCrary. We can give you a full field rundown, I think, now, because we're about to get the signal of one to go. I think we just received it. John Radigan is in 11th, Noah Hart 12th, Deanna Shelton now 13th. First of the cards to pit under that caution, Alan Tanker will restart in 14th, 15th Madison Sieber, 16th Rohit Vidarabu, Henry Nova 17th, 18th Kyle Matthews, Sean Henley is 19th with Danny Wells in 20th, Cole Daly 21st, 22nd Joshua Michaels, Sean Galligan 23rd, Austin LaPlante's 24th, 25th Emilio Navarrete, Ralph Mason's 26th, 27th is Dougie Shears, 28th Charles Jackson, Michael Norman 29th, and 30th is P.J. Williams. We've got two cars that are a lap down, 31st place Hayden Klein, and 32nd place Trent Dunham. Drivers out of the race now that we didn't talk about before behind the wall include Dylan Young, Nick Barney, Cody Lamas, and James Sowerfox. So the first of our chasers to go behind the wall will be the Everham Dodge of James Sowerfox. His teammate, however, Drew Austin, out in front and leading this race, looking for his second win of the season. It would also be the sixth win of the season for Everham if Drew Austin can capitalize. They've gone victory lane once with the 9 team, twice with the 43 team, and twice with the 43 team. Green flag out, and Hayden Klein, remember, he ended up getting trapped a lap down because he made a pit stop under that little green flag run. So he is up to speed, and he's giving Drew Austin all he can handle. Austin now going to try and get around on the high side. Let's see if he can clear the 27 into this corner. No, not yet he's not. Hayden Klein still battling there on the inside line. Sosnowski has moved into second, and he's waiting for that inside line to open up. Now William Duncan's starting to get a run on him on the high side, and we're still green flag racing. Hayden Klein, I think, would have loved to have had a caution come out on that lap so that way he could get himself back on the tail of the lead lap. But he still races side by side with Drew Austin. Austin, I think, may have him cleared this time. Got the nice run off of turn two, and Drew Austin will clear the now lap car of Hayden Klein. Sosnowski now going to try and make quick work of the 27. Looks like he's going to clear him. Good battling going on back here. Well, there was smoke on the front straightaway. Is there a caution? No, there's no caution, but I don't know who the spin was for. Oh, looks like it could have been for Danny Wells. Danny Wells, who comes in tied for the points lead here in the chase. He is on pit row. Now, I don't know if this is a regularly scheduled stop or not. He still sits idle on the pit lane. Started second in this race. And he, I think, may have been the car that got spun around the front straightaway. And I am quite shocked they did not throw the caution. You still see remnants of the smoke there. From what I'm assuming was a Danny Wells spin. But Drew Austin is the leader. Sosnowski in the second, Cittadino third, fourth William Duncan, and Mary Cole now moves into fifth place. How about Jake Cole? Great run right now for the 39, was able to race his way into the chase for the championship last week, and he's putting on a real good show right now in that 39 machine. 
up here inside the top 10 has been for a majority of the day. We just haven't talked about him and his teammate as well. Also a chase of the season, rookie John Radigan up here now moving underneath of Aaron Williams Jr. That I believe would be for position number eight. Back up at the front though, Drew Austin continues to enjoy a pretty sizable lead as we're still green flag racing and there is Danny Wells pulling out there. He is not too far ahead of the leader Drew Austin and they may encounter Danny Wells before this race is over. Six to go at the line. And Drew Austin's going to catch Danny Wells right now. He's going to maybe make a pass on him on the back straightaway. The question is, though, how much trouble will he have getting around the Caterpillar Chevy? Will it be enough to bring the 22 and the 42 of Sosnowski and the defending Snickers Cup Series champ John Cittadino his back door? He's going to quickly get to the inside, and it looks like he may be able to clear Danny Wells pretty easily. So Danny Wells is going to be able to stay out maybe finish this race but it will be several laps down to the leader tough break for Danny two-time winner this season find the rest of our chasers here found Duncan there's Cole there's Radigan you gotta go quite a ways back before you find a battle here for 15th place between three chasers Cole Daly, Sean Henley and Anthony McCrory they're running in 14th, 15th, and 16th as we speak. Galligan back here in the 19th position. Tim Walsh running in 20th. I think Galligan may have just moved up to 18th, actually. Madison Seaver back here. She's just trying to survive with her damaged race car. She's back in the 25th position. I think she just took 24th from Henry Nova. She did indeed. Charles Jackson trying to salvage what he can of today. He's 27th. And then you go back up here to the leader, Drew Austin. Austin the leader as he's got the signal of three to go good battle shaping up here maybe for second though Citadino peeks to the inside there of Sosnowski side by side for that position that's going to bring fourth fifth and sixth right to them if they continue to race double wide the juicy fruit Chevrolet underneath the Xbox one Ford and wait a minute, wait a minute, Citadino's coming to pit road, and so is Sosnowski, and so is Drew Austin, and so is Duncan. The lead has been turned over to Mary Cole with two to go. Noah Hart is also coming to pit road, so this may be that some drivers are going to try and stretch it. Some drivers playing the safe strategy of coming down pit road, but I don't know. If you're Mary Cole or if you're Richard Johnson and you're not in the chase for the championship, do you roll the dice and try and stretch it on fuel? We've seen two non-chasers go to victory lane already in this weekend. Danny Wells in trucks, Richard Johnson in mobile, and Johnson's up here ready to strike, maybe go two for three this race weekend as the white flag is in the air. Mary Cole the leader. Second place is going to be Richard Johnson, and then it's the two Stuart Haas chasers. Jake Cole in third and John Radigan in fourth. William Duncan's going to be on the inside line. That may help Mary Cole, but Mary Cole now got to contend with Noah Hart, Richard Johnson though trying to get around the high sides to come off the final corner. Mary Cole trying to hang on off of turn number four. Richard Johnson gets the wall and Mary Cole gets away. She wins here today in the Camping World RV Sales 301, her second win of the season. She won earlier on at the road course of Infineon and now in her second full-time season, she is going to pick up her second win of the season, her first multiple win season of her career. And it is, I believe, the fourth win of the season for Tweenix Racing. So Mary Cole becomes the first multiple-time winner for Tweenix here in season number six. And this race is over. Mary Cole was able to stretch it to the end. And she picks up her second win of the season in the Briar Chevrolet. Let's take a look at our official top 10 results. Richard Johnson, very good race weekend for him. Won in the Mobile Cup Series event. Gets second here today in the Snickers Cup. And how about the two Stuart Haas cars? Jake Cole and John Radigan. I'm telling you, Stuart Haas is going to be a team you got to watch out for here in this chase. John Radigan, very consistent. Jake Cole, a late springer upper at the end of the regular season. They get third and fourth place today. Alan Tanker, the pole sitter, did a good job, remained consistent all day, and he'll come up with a top five. Deanna Shelton, didn't talk about her hardly at all today, and she's going to get a solid sixth place finish in the Penske Germain Ford. Rohit Vidarvu, up front all day, he'll finish in seventh. Cole Daly, nice run for him. 
I think that could be enough for him to actually have the points lead heading into next week. I don't know. He came in tied for the points lead before. We'll have to see how it pans out as far as uh, where John Radigan and Jake Cole are in the running order as far as uh, how far ahead Cole Daly would be in the points. Austin the Plant, nice run for him in fifth. And Sean Henley going to finish in the sixth position. Or, I'm sorry, not sixth. Did I say fifth? I'm sorry, Austin the Plant finishes in ninth, and Sean Henley actually finishes in the tenth position, but a solid top ten run for him today. Let's find out where the rest of our chasers finished. Sean Galligan going to finish in eleventh, so pretty good day for Tweenix. First, tenth, and eleventh. The rest of the uh, chasers, Anthony Curry finished in fourteenth place. Drew Austin, after having to make a pit stop, he'll finish the day in seventeenth. Looking further down, William Duncan finishes in 21st. Charles Jackson was 23rd. Tim Walsh, 24th. Madison Sieber, damaged truck, uh, damaged car and all. Nice 25th place finish for her. Pretty solid run for a pretty damaged car. Then the rest of the chasers are further down here. They either finished many laps down or out of the race. Danny Wells in 31st. And James Silverfox, the only driver, I believe, that was in the chase that actually did retire from today's race. So... Mary Cole becomes the third non-chaser this week to go to Victory Lane at New Hampshire. So, tell you what, the chasers, they're not getting up there getting those five valuable bonus points that they need to have that really could help them in the chase for the championship. Maybe they'll do it next week when we head to Thornton. Yep, the home of the turn of death. We are heading there for the second time this season, and it's going to be a wild one, no doubt about that. Really love the racing that happens there. You never know what's going to happen around every twist and turn. And these drivers now have to get themselves psyched out and prepared for that exciting event. Anyway, folks, we hope you enjoyed today's race. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and become part of the group today. Here comes your official full finishing results, overall point gains, rookie points, and chase points heading into next week's race. Mary Cole becomes a multiple-time winner this season in the Snickers Cup Series as she takes the checkers in the Camping World RV Sales 301. You've been watching the production of the NCRA, Offline Racing as Best. See you next week at Thornton. Off the final corner, and oh, what a was John Sinadino, the leader! Sinadino, the poster, and there goes Madison Saber off! There goes Ralph Mason, second in points off!